So pressing this button brings you back. Hey everyone, look what I have. It's the Apple TV 4K. I've not opened this yet, so I'm gonna open it right now for you guys. Ta-da! The Apple TV and the remote. The Apple TV itself, it is the size of a very big uh, moon cake. The best part of buying new stuff is to kill this off. Very nice matte finish. Oh, don't forget this one. Behind you have the power supply, the like HDMI, and the Ethernet cable. And this is the new remote with the white ring on the manual button very kicky a nice silver silver bag with a Apple logo I like how they uh, categorize the things the power supply just slides off like this this thing doesn't come with the heavy power brick so it's just a cable which I really like about Apple products so you don't get big clunky things lying around so there you go Lightning cable for charging your controller, which I have lots of them lying around, so I won't be leaving this. User manual. That's it. Now, if you are getting the Apple TV 4K, you also need a 4K TV and a HDMI cable that's capable of transmitting 4K uh, quality videos. This is very important. So, if you don't have it, you should go and get one. I bought this from Zimim Square, it's only 990 and it looks quite good quality. So, I'm gonna set it up right now. Okay, we are all done and let's see how it looks. So as expected, if your TV is off and you turn off your Apple TV, you should turn on your TV automatically. There we go. Very smooth control. So as you can see, I'm getting 4K at 60Hz. So let's see how uh, it performs. I like how now it's very clean and simple. I used to have the old Apple TV and it was cluttered with uh, apps that I don't need. So now you just install what you need. For example, YouTube. 4K video. So right now I'm watching 4K videos on my YouTube. The quality is expected. Uh, 4K really nice, really clear. I really love it. The Siri function is also very responsive. It works. The Apple TV connects easily to my computer and it will show all the videos and uh, TV shows and movies that I have. And it works as expected. The volume button on this thing controls the volume of your TV directly. Unfortunately, the infrared signal of my LED lights and the TV it clashes sometimes. So you see the lights go off and on, but that shouldn't affect you. Now I'm going to try gaming on this thing. So obviously I'm not expecting my uh, games to be in 4K, but here we go, let's see how it does. Okay, so this is a quick demo of uh, the video gaming on, on the Apple TV. So pressing this button brings you back. Okay, so the controller is a bit small and it's a bit finicky and it's aluminium back. So it's gonna scratch when you drop it, just like your phone. So as you have seen, I just dropped my uh, remote. Um, small little scratch here. So there you have it, this is a quick review of the Apple TV 4K. Uh, I'm a little upset that I dropped my remote just now and uh, it, it, it made a dent on, on the edge. But other than that, I don't know, it's on two edges. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, the Apple TV 4K has similar features as the previous versions. And uh, it added a few new cool features like the accelerometer in the remote and uh, the graphics are better, 4K. Um, other than that, um, if you think of getting one, 
please go ahead. I think it's a great product. Other than the remote, which drops too easily. Uh, but yeah, maybe you can hold it like this instead of holding like this so you won't drop it. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Thank you so much. Uh, talk to you again next time. Bye bye.